Hey guys, what's up? It's Arm Alieri, and I have a, another look at the brand new iPhone 4S. Uh, check it out. You can see that it is a PC-free type of configuration. Uh, I'm not connected to any computer, and I'm going to go ahead and begin the activation process. So the first screen is the welcome screen here, and you can choose your language. Uh, ours is set to English, so we're going to go ahead and continue with that there. And then on the next screen is the location, so United States. And then we're going to go ahead and enable location services here. And uh, that will allow us to be found and stuff like that. We're going to choose a network here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick a home network to be able to uh, connect and complete the process. So uh, I'm just going to pop in my um, network password here real quick. All right. And uh, OK, so we are connecting to the network right now. And uh, we are going to continue. Uh, the activation here so um, all right so now that we're on the network we're gonna go ahead and continue the activation process uh, it did pull in my phone number which I'm covering up with my thumb because uh, I don't want any spam phone calls obviously but anyway um, there we go and now it's going to ask me for the zip code and uh, the last Four digits of my social security number. This is all part of the activation process with AT&T in this case. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put that information in and let the phone continue to activate. And uh, so, all right, so here we go. The phone is activating right now. Uh, I just finished putting in my zip code and social security. Uh, the terms and conditions, I'm just going to go ahead and agree to. Uh, and then it's, it's going to continue the activation process. So uh, it's not that difficult. You guys see, I can do all of this without a PC. Uh, so that's one of the major new features of iOS 5. Uh, you weren't able to do this with previous versions of iOS. You had to always have your phone tethered uh, via a wire to your computer and iTunes. So this is a new feature. It's going to make things really handy, uh, especially when you start backing up to iCloud. Whenever you switch to a new device, uh, you can pick it right out of the box, restore it from iCloud, and be up and running. So um, right now, it is still trying to activate the phone. Uh, the servers from AT&T had been a little overwhelmed uh, on activation day. So now I can choose to set it up as new, restore it from iCloud, or restore it from iTunes. And I'm just going to set it up as a new phone here. Uh, I'm going to start fresh. So um, that gets me to the iCloud login page, where I'm going to put in my Apple ID and uh, sign into iCloud. Now iCloud is really awesome. It's gonna back up my contacts, my email, my calendar, uh, my documents, and photo stream all into the cloud. So I'm um, gonna be able to access all of that stuff via the cloud. It's a free feature with iOS 5 and it's really handy. So I recommend you guys get your iCloud account set up. It's gonna come in handy. And uh, so once you put that information in, it's going to, uh, again, bring us to another Terms of Service. We're going to agree to that, and uh, it's going to log us into iCloud here. Uh, pretty straightforward and easy stuff with your Apple ID. So it's going to ask you if you want to use iCloud to back up, and obviously we're going to say yes. And uh, also it's going to uh, back up the info there. So um, next is whether or not we want to use Find My iPhone, and everyone should say yes to this. And here we have the uh, well-known and uh, really huge feature of iOS 5, which is Siri. Uh, you're going to want to activate this so that you can have a personal voice-enabled uh, assistant. So just enable that. And diagnostics and usage. Some people choose to send it, but mm, I don't like being tracked uh, like that. So I just said no to that. And uh, as far as registering with Apple, I'm just going to register my device. And that's it. Uh, the phone is completely set up. I can start using it. I just have to tap use iPhone and boom, there we are. So um, the Reminders app wanted to use my location and I allowed it. And you can see that is iOS 5 on the iPhone 4S. Uh, everything is rocking and rolling. We did it all with no computer and no wires uh, wirelessly. It's really convenient. There's a lot of other wireless features coming up. So uh, stay tuned for all of that. Uh, I'm going to be doing more iOS 5 and iPhone 4S videos. You can catch me on iOSAppAdvice.com and also on Twitter at iOSAppAdvice. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.